high impact and fast pace, American football isn't a sport you typically think of being played in Australia. But for these players and coaches, it's also their chance of representing Victoria and playing for a crowd at the national championships this year. So how did these players and coaches fall in love with the sport? I started playing gridiron because I was fixing someone who had lower back surgery. So I'm a rehab coordinator, so being able to help fix her through her injury phases, I then got into flag football. And from there I thought, why not try gridiron? It's a completely different sport. I wanted to play something different, something a little bit more technical. Uh, I used to play soccer when I was a kid and I just wanted to try something new. So. I tried gridiron and I really enjoyed it. I really liked the strategic aspect of it. I grew up uh, with the sport back in Canada, so I grew up watching it my whole life. And then uh, when I started year nine in high school, I was able to play and immediately fell in love with the sport. And then um, after high school, I didn't play, um, but got involved with the sport again when I moved here to Australia. And yeah, haven't, haven't looked back ever since. It's, I've loved being a coach and yeah, it's been great so far. Women's participation has been growing for all sports in Australia and gridiron has been no different. Gridiron is now an aspect in regards to women's sport. So I think over time with more people, people participating in this sport and more people understanding what gridiron is through flag football or through a company called Team Touchdown, we're going to get a lot more influence on women's sport and gridiron as a whole within Australia. There seems to be growing interest in the sport with every year. Um, I remember when I first moved here, I told people that I was watching the Super Bowl and they either didn't know what it was or they laughed at me. And as the years went on, more people were curious to now where people are just, are just watching the sport a lot. So uh, in terms of viewership, it's, it's growing quite a bit and I hope participation in the sport kind of follows that trend as well too. I think over the last couple of years, there's been a massive growth in the sport. So both for the men's, uh, but also for the juniors or for the kids and for women's. Um, and I think it's just coming from other sports as well and then more people seeing the sport, hearing about it um, and hearing about like how many different positions you can play in gridiron. There's basically a position for everybody. So I think for a lot of people it's a great sport, especially if they don't find a suitable position in another sport. The Victorian Eagles will compete in the national championship later this year at Central Coast Stadium in Godsford, New South Wales. I've never played for the state before, so I'm super excited to do something for my state, but then also for women's sport. Well, I've, I've never played in a, a sports tournament at all or competed in a sports tournament all of this size, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, the girls have been working really hard, so it'll be really interesting to put ourselves up against the rest of the competition in the country. You're, you're coaching the best of the best in the state, so you've got players that are already experienced coming in. Um, so you know, they already, you're dealing with players that already know the fundamentals. So you get to come in and as a defensive coordinator, be really creative with what you're doing. Cause you're not so much as um, focused on coaching the skills of the sport, which you might be at the club level in, in Australia when dealing with new players. Here we're getting the best of the best. So we just get to dive straight into it head first and see where we end up. As the threat of COVID-19 spreads throughout the world of sport, the Eagles would not let it affect their preparation. So far it's been okay. Um, we just hope that the grounds stay open and that we won't be impacted in the future and um, also hopefully don't have any players that don't come to training because of it. Um, in regards to the coronavirus at the moment, nothing has impacted my training. Uh, the only thing that I'm more mindful of is a lot more, I guess, hygiene in regards to being at the gym. So making sure I'm wiping down the equipment, making sure I'm wiping down any foam rolls or the balls when it comes to training. Other than that, I don't think it has affected the training that much. It's definitely something to be mindful of. Um, it's not something that I'm con I can be concerned about because I still obviously have to train and coach and everything as if the tournament's still going ahead full steam and we'll continue to prepare that way. But if worse comes to worse, hopefully the tournament is only postponed, but we'll be ready. We'll be ready if it's in at the end of May when it should be or if it's in six months after that, we'll be ready. Unfortunately, the national championship was postponed from late May to later in the year, shortly after the filming of this story. To help support the Victorian Eagles, visit the Gridiron Victoria Facebook page at facebook.com slash gridironvictoria, where you can donate to their GoFundMe or buy supporters merch.